Hello and welcome to another episode of Revision Notes. I'm Charles McQuaid and I'll be narrating this episode. Today we're going to be having a look at the effects of volcanoes on people, which as it all says on the screen is GCSE Geography from AQA. Natural Hazards Natural hazards have both primary and secondary effects for people living in the surrounding area. Volcanoes are no exception. Loss of life can be high if the eruption is large, explosive and happens with little warning. People may be hit by falling debris, suffocated by poisonous gases or buried under mud flows after the heat of the eruption melts snow at the top of the volcano. Whilst the human and physical effects of most volcanoes are limited to a local area, few massive eruptions have had global effects. Dust from the Great Eruption in Krakatoa in 1883 circled the world for several years, reducing world temperatures. Nearly a century later, the eruption of El Trincon in Mexico in 1980 reduced the average temperature in the Northern Hemisphere by 0.25 degrees for a year during a time of global warming. So here we have a brilliant clip of the uh, effects of volcanoes on people. Here we have the volcano erupting and then this poor car just getting crushed by the lava flow. I can imagine the owner would be pretty annoyed. So volcanoes, a hazard or a blessing? Why do people choose to live near active volcanoes when an eruption could happen at any time? The answer is that living in volcanic areas has its attractions. After the lava weathers, volcanic soils are some of the world's most fertile soils. Often they are much better quality than the soils in surrounding mountainous areas. Soils from many eruptions of Vesuvius on the plain of Campania are the best in southern Italy. Volcanic areas also offer a variety of attractions for tourists, including bathing in the hot springs and mud pools, watching geysers, and volcano walking up and to and around the crater. The supplies of hot water have economic uses, either as domestic heating or for generating electricity. In addition, there are valuable minerals, notably sulphur, borax, and pumice. Loss of life is always more likely in volcanic eruptions along destructive plate margins. Living close to shield volcanoes are, is safer. Lives are rarely threatened when only lava is being erupted, even from a composite cone, because people have plenty of time to move out of the way of lava flows. Okay guys, that wraps it up for today's Revision Notes episode. I thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this episode or got anything from it, please leave a like and subscribe. I've been Charles Quaid. And thanks again for watching.